Hi, this is Charlie Earhart, and I'm here to present one of the videos in this series of uh, community contributed videos. And in this episode, I want to share a solution to a problem that's tripped up a lot of people as they move to CF10. Some of you know that CF10 is a lot more secure uh, for various ways. It's already more secure out of the box. <clears throat> and one of the ways that it's more secure, and it might have tripped you up if you've been working with multiple people in your shop, is you can only have one person logged into the administrator at a time by default. Now that's because by default, ColdFusion has always had one user for the administrator, the admin user. You can see it here on the screen that you know you don't even get to change it in the default configuration. There's just one user, but that's configurable. You can actually define there to be more than one user, and that's actually the solution to this problem. If you would just define multiple users, those different users then can be logged in to the administrator at the same time. So let me demonstrate the problem as it is right now. So here I am, and we're not going to do it on multiple machines or from multiple machines, but just on one machine with different browsers. I'm going to log into the administrator here, and I can poke around and happily work, and everything's fine, and I'm just happy doing my job. And then another user, let's say, uh, logs in to the admin from their machine, or in this case, I'm just doing it from another browser. And they are happily poking along, doing whatever they need to do. But then the next person, the, the first person, is back there in their browser, and they click on a link, and, hey, what happened? I got logged out of my administrator. And so they log in. I don't know what happened there. Maybe ColdFusion restarted. And so they're doing whatever they're wanting to do, and they're happy. And then the first person comes along, and he submits a page, and he's logged out. So you get into this battle of different people trying to log into the administrator at the same time. It can be very frustrating, especially if you don't understand what's going on. So again, what's going on is you're all trying to use the same admin password, and you're not, you're not allowed to have more than one person logged in to a given admin username at a time. It's as simple as that. So what's the solution? Well, the solution is in a feature that's been around for a long time, but a lot of people never noticed it. First of all, if we go to the security section of the administrator and the administrator page, on the top of that page you can see, do you want to have a single password only for logging into the admin, and that implies using this admin username, or do you want to have a separate username and password, which allows multiple users, and that's what we want to do. So to do that, we want to go down to this another feature in the security page called user manager. User manager, and we just add a user. So I'll create a new user, I'll call it Sierra. And I'll give it a password. Now, you might have noticed that it's popped up saying that that's a weak and short password. That's actually a configurable feature if you didn't know about it. It's not going to stop me from using it. If I had enabled what's called the secure profile during installation of ColdFusion 10, then I would be precluded from creating this simple weak and short password. But if I don't choose the secure profile, then I'm free to continue to use bad passwords. So anyway, um, now the next thing we want to do is after finding that user is we want to say that they are allowed administrative access. Now when we click that button that says they are going to be allowed administrative access, look at the pop-up screen, the message says you need to define support for multiple users in the admin. I didn't do that yet. I showed you that I could do it, but I hadn't submitted that page yet. So I wanted you to see what this would be looking like the first time you try it. So you'll be told you need to enable that feature. We'll do that in a minute. Now you don't want to just submit it because by default the user has no permission to do anything in the administrator. All their roles are prohibited. So what you want to do is come up here and select all these with your mouse or your keyboard and then move them over to be allowed role. So now that user can do everything in the administrator. Now that's perhaps a surprise to some of you who never even knew this feature was here. Yeah, you could define this user to only be allowed to manage data sources or only be allowed to manage scheduled tasks. That's configurable. But for now we'll make it be somebody who can do everything. And the point is I now have another user. Now the rest of these things on the screen you don't need to worry about. They don't really apply to administration. They're really related to other things including this list of data sources. This doesn't control what data sources the administrator is allowed to access that really isn't. This is about sandbox, and that's another whole subject for another day. So anyway, we just go ahead and add this user, and now there is a new user called C. Earhart. Now, to use it, I need to go back to the security page and change it to say separate username and password. And now I can go over to that other browser 
And obviously, if I click, I'll be logged out because I was using the previous admin user. Well, now look, it doesn't pre-fill in the word admin anymore. Now, that's something you've got to be aware of when you turn that feature on. There is still an admin user. He still has that previous default, you know, whatever password you defined in installation. But you don't see it there anymore. You have to know to type admin. Or, in my case, I want to instead type C Earhart and the password. And I'm in, and I can poke around to my heart's delight. And the other person who's still logged in as admin can still poke around. That shouldn't have happened. <laughs> Let's see what happens here. So I'm going to log in as the admin user. And poke around, and the other person is poking around. So we're both logged in at the same time. Okay, so it does work. That's the way that feature works, and that way you can be logged in. And it even tells you up here the username that you're logged in as. And this one says the username they're logged in as. So that's how you can know what's going on. So the feature really is as simple as that. You can solve this problem of being able to have different people logged in at the same time. Just real quickly, you may say, well, why did Adobe do that? Why in CF10 can't I just have different people logging in at the same time? Well, it's for your benefit and your protection. It's another essence of CF10s being more secure. They want to make it so that you don't have more than one person logged in at the same time using the same account. So it's as simple as creating a new account. Now you might say, I wish I could tie that account to Windows Authentication or an LDAP. You can't. It's just a separate username and password as we saw there. So it's relatively simple. But it's just for administrative access. You're only going to create probably two or three of them. So that's what it is. Um, if you want to learn more about it, I actually did an article about this in the uh, Adobe Developer Center where I got into more detail about the multiple user feature. That's not new in 10. That's been there. So you can find that article. Maybe we'll provide a link to it uh, later in this interface. And with that, I'll say uh, enjoy the rest of the videos that come up, and I look forward to providing more of these in the future. So again, 